Well, Farmer Doug here on uh, Sunday. We're having a blizzard here. It's just the uh, tail end of it. It's about nine degrees outside right now. And I've finished this heater, mass, rocket mass heater that we talked about uh, building. You can see it in the background there. Um, I have it running. I'm really happy with how it's working. I'll explain how that's working in a second. But it's... Um, it's about eh, a little over 40 degrees here in the greenhouse. It's 5 degrees, 9 degrees outside. So I'm 35 degrees warmer inside the greenhouse. And um, I just got this thing running to the point where um, it feeds itself wood um, for, well, wood chips. So here it is. Um, at the end of this video, I'll post what it looks like on the inside. Um, there's solar panels inside of that chamber over there, and there's water that uh, we talked about. It circulates through the ground. It heats the ground. Um, so when the water comes out of the ground, it circulates through solar panels that I connect get connected together inside this chamber, and then the water flows to a large coil of copper inside of this barrel, uh, which is the top of the chimney, essentially. Um, and then you can see um, inside there is just a constant burn. And this, this tube is filled with um, wood chips. So it feeds itself for eight, 10 hours. Um, and the top of this is Oh, 253 degrees max temp. I've had it up to 350. Um, <clears throat> the water that's coming out of out of uh, the whole system, uh, you can see here, 63 degrees. Um, so it climbs about oh a degree or so an hour. Um, so that circulates through the the ground heats the ground, heats the root zone, radiates heat up into the greenhouse. <clears throat> um, I'm also, um, I'm not finished with this yet. I'm going to actually put a, because this gets so hot, um, you know, I can't, I can't really touch it. But um, I'm going to put a shroud over the top of this with a blower fan on top. And it's going to suck air up to the bottom. And it's going to probably blow you know, somewhere close to 80 to 100 degree air out, and I'm gonna blow it across the greenhouse. So that'll heat the, the air. So I'll have the ground heated through water, uh, the air heated there. So um, I should be able to get plants in here pretty soon. Uh, maybe a, a week I'll have this uh, greenhouse um, all heated up. So at the end of this video, you'll see, um, I'll, I'll post another video that I did earlier while I was building it and kind of shows all the um, um, the plumbing as far as how that um, water circulates through and and why that's heating the water. So a um, little bit of a different design than the standard rocket mass heater um, just because I, it's a different application. So um, I'm going to take some of this... Um, a lot of this dirt out of the greenhouse and um, replace it with some new soil that I, I got. I got a whole truckload of super soil. So I'm gonna uh, replace that and then I'll start putting some plants in the ground. Um, I do wanna send a good uh, a, a shout out to a thank you to a number of volunteers um, who've helped with everything from transplanting seedlings, planting seeds, um, just a variety of different things that people have helped with. Um, even people that have brought food um, to because they know I'm, I've been working around the clock. So um, a big shout out to Martha, Yahweh, Yawo, um, Bob and Beth, and um, a number of other um, people that have helped out. So a big thank you to all of you for your help in... Um, things in the in the in the barn 
with the plants and other things um, so that I can focus on building the infrastructure here. So um, there you have it. Here is uh, the rocket mass heater, which is these bricks here. Um, what I have um, in combination here is water that runs through the ground that will run through these solar panels. So I built this um, this chamber here, which has a bunch of rocks underneath the solar panels. I have water coming out of the ground, running through all these um, copper pipes, and I'm currently running water through it right now, and just checking for leaks. Um, but the water then comes through this coil, goes back to the hot water heater, which is just a storage tank. Um, this unit is going to um, get this placed on top. Like so. And then I'll place this unit on top of that. So 